What's up, beautiful people? Another edition of Bass Lay Outdoors. Back with another video. Ice edition. Out with my boy Ben, living survival part of the ice team. We about to get down. We are tip up fishing today. We're going to set up tip up. So we got a, a line of tip up set up here. So I'm about to set up my tip up. So we got a line of tip ups all going down here. So I got only one tip up today. I didn't leave, get my pike leader, which kind of sucks. I don't have anything to kind of rig. I should have kind of got it when I was at the bait shop, but I didn't. But we're gonna work with just one tip up. It's been a hot area. I caught a lot of nice pike in this area on these tip up. And this shot's here. Yeah, it's a nice pike. So we're gonna set up some tip ups. I got some suckers. So you see me about to rig up this sucker and get it down the hole. Alright guys, so how you rig a sucker? Well how I rig my suckers. I hook them in the back. Part of the dorsal here, and with the other hook here, you guys can see just like that. Make sure you push that fish out because he will wiggle and get packed. So, just like that. So, I know what depth I'm in. I'm in 15 foot of water here, uh, 15 18 foot of water. So, I know the depth here. So, I'm gonna set it like three feet off the bottom. I got this cutter line here. This cutter line is nice. It's Cabela's cutter line. So I'm a, I know what depth. I got a depth per color. So I'm going to send this guy down. I'm probably send him down like 12, 13 feet. That's what these pipes be sitting at. Let's see if we can get some big, some tip ups today. We had a lot of good luck here last time we were here. I didn't get that on footage. I'm sorry, but it was a good day. Let's go. Make sure you want to keep that sucker off the bottom. I want to set it on sensitive because I'm not too sensitive for that sucker. Alright, so we go. So we got our tip up set up. Let's tip up one. We're going to see what we ain't got going on over here. We're setting up this tip up too. So we out here trying to get these pipes. Hopefully, we get some big pipe uh, hitting. So we got Ben over here. He's setting up his tip up here. He's gonna run. He's running three today or two today. Uh, so he's gonna set up two, one next to mine. He's gonna set one here. Right, we in the dead center actually of this pond here, which is kind of pretty deep for a small pond. We're about pipe 20 foot of water, 22, three foot of water right now. So these pipe be roaming in these deep areas, uh, chasing these uh, bait fish and bluegill and stuff like that. That's why the bluegill bite is real kind of slow here because pike just roam this area and just eat up everything. So. All right, guys, enough talking. We're going to see if we can get some fish on deck. See you guys in a minute. All right, guys, as I show you, we'll get everything together here. So this is my slatted sea tray here. It's nice and famous here. I keep all my jigs. And drink the bait. That's the aqua view. So I'm gonna drop down the aqua view today. See if we get see what we can see down there. I'm gonna find on my camera up here. So I'm on my tripod to actually put this on. Tip up, up. Uh, Leanne's got one all in the line. We got them all in the line here. You guys can see. You think it's shallow, but this is 20 foot of water. It's 25. You know, so it's pretty deep all the way down. So we're fishing for those pike. Hopefully, we might get some fish in shallow. That's why I'm dropping the aqua view down to see what's coming down here. I haven't fished here in a while. So we're gonna get the aqua view down. So I got the on this little camera. 
Well, I think this is a little gap dropper to find depth. Uh, I'm gonna drop this down and see what we got. Uh, down here. Get to you guys when we see what's down here. Alright guys, so I got you guys set up on Aquaview. I know you guys quite can't see that, but I'm gonna flip the shiny over so we can somewhat get some kind of view of this. Uh, so, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to kind of set me up here. Nice. Alright, just that easy guys. So I see a better view on the left of you. Small gill. Let so, me get a minnow head, bro. Yeah, the bucket on the side of my shiny. Ain't got a fish on the tip. What you need? We ain't got one on the tip up here. Ooh, nice pipe, buddy. First pipe off the tip up. What you was checking it? I was lowering it down because it was only at ten foot. So I was lowering it down, it hit on the way down. Wow. That was nice. He got his first one off the tip up, lowering it down to check it. And a nice pike gets it. Nice fish, bro. First fish off the tip up. Nice, bro. Nice. That's just a Garmin, bro. For real? It was at 10 and I just lowered it down. So I recommend you guys to get that Garmin Striker Cast. Like I mentioned in one of my pre previous videos, I recommend my buddy to get this. I sold him this Garmin Striker Cast. That is a nice unit. It's nice, small, and portable. No wires, no heavy nothing. It's a great unit. It's portable, and it's easy to go. So I'm going to check my tip up and see where my depth at, just like he was doing. And maybe I get hit. That's crazy. All right, guys. So I want you guys to view this, what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing this massive school a bass well, I mean just mind those all down there I'm just sitting that's gotta on, be what's on the bottom of mine too yup it's a weed line right here too it's all look at those bass down there that's two that's four oh my god mondo mondo that's a mondo guys that's like three pounder right there that's a three pounder right there I think we need to get a minnow down there so we're gonna get some minnows down here guys we didn't know we see these school of bass like that. that's a beautiful bass yeah, the range you can actually just see what that those fish are reacting to or where they reacting to you know they're reacting to your bait and i got a fish that's cool Got his ass. Got it. Hey, I got something. Big crappie. Oh my god, big crappie. Whew. Mondo crappie, guys. Huh? Mondo crappie, guys. Whoo! There we go, baby. That's the one that came past. Oh, 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 oh. 
I seen him. I seen him on the camera. Held the tip up, guys. Nice one. Held the tip up. When you swallowed it, that sucker is gone. All right, let's get him released and back. All right, guys. So I'm back in the shack. Uh, I actually released that largemouth bass. Uh, man, he had swallowed the hook so bad in his gill uh, that I couldn't get it out. So I just had to release him with the hook in his mouth. Uh, it dissolves in him, so it will not harm the fish. But I did not want to rip that hook out of his mouth trying to get it out because it was so deep. And I guess I didn't keep it out on my tip up. Uh, so he had to be running with it for a few minutes. It wasn't too long from the last time I looked out there. I guess it just had one up and he was just running so much with it and trying to swallow it. But he actually swam off. I released him. I uh, got a good little video footage of that. So I'll show you guys that. my bait on but nice bass guys man second bass of the day
all right guys so i'm gonna conclude this video thanks guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video we had a good day out here on the lake with ben living in survival uh check out his channel on youtube i'll try to link the link to the description of his video on the bottom of this video uh he's got a good channel also we showed a video out here for you also so check out his video also it should be up soon so hope you guys enjoy man it's probably the last couple of ice trips of the year uh, i'll probably make two more and i'm done but this is the Cabanalos Ice Team uh, Clam XL, Legend XL. It's a nice shanty. Nice and roomy. Big crappie on, on the ice. That's what I wanted to see. The biggest fish I got was the bias. But the crappie was a big deal. So we're going to take him home, fillet him up. He's going to be dinner tonight. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys like this video. And thanks for the support, guys. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I appreciate you guys that subscribe. The guys that's not subscribed, make sure you guys please subscribe to my channel. Got a lot of cool things coming up this year for the kayak season. Got a new fish binder coming up, so stay tuned for that, guys. I'll be coming up with a video with that, doing an unboxing on that as soon as I receive it. And I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. But let's get it, guys. It's going to be a good season. Happy 2021 to everybody. Safe travels to everyone. Tight lines. Keep it safe and keep it positive. Love you guys. Peace.